hello everyone hope you have watched my previous video on vlan uh, using single switch uh, if you are not watch uh, just go to my channel and watch that video uh, and please like share and subscribe my channel uh, in this video uh, we are going to discuss about vlan configuration on three switches which are part of single physical uh, network uh, but they are going to form two vlan groups so uh, in this video we are going to discuss this with the help of cisco packet tracer so let's start the video so i have opened cisco packet tracer here i have selected three switches and six pcs i'm going to connect two pcs each under every switch so let's do it PC number 1 and 2 will be part of first switch, PC number 2 and 3 will be the part of second switch, PC number 5 and 6 will be the part of third switch. So all these are connected. Now I am going to assign IP addresses to all the PCs. As we are going to form VLAN, so VLAN is nothing but uh, the logical LAN form under the LAN so that's why uh, I'm going to provide IP address uh, with same network ID to all the PCs so 192.168.1 the network ID this network ID I'm going to uh, provide to all the PCs only host ID I'm going to change so let's do it so for first PC Go to desktop and provide 192.168.1.1 as a IP address first PC similarly for second PC one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two And third PC 192.168.1.3 with the fourth PC 192.168.1.4 will be the IP address and with the fifth PC I am going to allot, allot 192.168.1.5 IP address and to the last PC that is sixth PC I am going to allot IP address as 192.168.1.6 okay so that's all we have provided IP address to all the PCs I am going to form two VLANs PC number 1 PC number 3 and PC number 5 will be part of first VLAN then PC number 2, 4 and 6 will be VLAN 2. So, uh, green color uh, circle is showing VLAN 1 network formed by PC number 1, PC number 3 and PC number 5. Whereas, yellow colored uh, circle it is showing uh, PC, uh, VLAN 2 consisting of PC number 2, PC number 4 and PC number 6. Now, the main uh, objective of this video is what? To connect uh, switches with the help of VLAN configuration. So, just over on the every line towards the switch, it is showing fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Then, for the second PC, it is showing fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And similarly to all the switches, it is showing fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 for the uh, first PC which is connected to switch. And for the second PC connected to switch, it is showing fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. So, go on and click on every uh, switch. Click on config. Here you will find LAN database. So, here you, are, you have to uh, number this VLANs. So, by default, VLAN 1 is there. So, we have to 
number here number 2 and i am going to write it here vlan 1 add it similarly number 3 will be vlan 2 okay now go to fast ethernet 0/1 port which is connected to pc number 1 and as pc number 1 will be part of vlan 1 so in the drop box select number 2 that is vlan 1 then go to fast ethernet 0/2 as fast ethernet 0/2 is connected to second pc which is part of the vlan 2 so here select vlan 2 from the drop drop down okay so now do the similar kind of setting on switch 2 and switch 3 now this is what we have done for the respective vlans under every switch but now the main task is connecting the switches to each other okay so now for that just go to any switch first okay and as fast ethernet 0/1 and 0/2 is already in use so i am going to select fast ethernet 0/3 and i am going to allot it to vlan 1 then go to fast ethernet 0/4 allot it to second vlan similarly go to second piece second switch fast ethernet 0/1 and 0/2 already in use so go to fast ethernet 0/3 do the similar setting which was done on the previous switch that is this fast ethernet 0/3 port will be assigned to vlan 1 fast ethernet 0/4 will be assigned to vlan 2 now as PC number uh, the fast Ethernet zero slash one zero slash two of third switch is already connected in use. So fast Ethernet zero slash three. Consider here for VLAN one fast Ethernet zero slash four. So consider here we have two. Now that's all. now as we are going to connect switches to each other as switches are of uh, same uh, type of connecting uh, devices so that's why we have to use crossover cable now consider 0/3 uh, connected to 0/3 this precaution should be taken and Zero slash four connected to zero slash four. But now, to connect switch two to switch three, as switch two already used port number one, two, three, four. That is fast Ethernet port number one, two, three, and four. So we have to allot next port number. that is fast ethernet 0/5 again to vlan 1 and fast ethernet 0/6 to vlan 2 now why we are doing all this because we want to connect switch number 2 to switch number 3 and switch number 2's first four ports are already in use so we have to again configured the next two ports of switch number 2 so as to connect it with the switch number 3 and now you just check fifth port is available 
कनेक्टेड टू द थर्ड पोर्ट ऑफ स्विच थ्री एंड सिक्स पोर्ट कनेक्टेड टू फोर्थ पोर्ट ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्फिग्रेशन दैट वी हैव डन जस्ट नाउ टू कनेक्ट द स्विचेस टू ईच अदर विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्रॉस ओवर केबल एंड विथ व्हील एंड कॉन्फिग्रेशन वी विल वेट फॉर सम टाइम सो दैट दिस ऑरेंज डॉट्स विल टर्न टू ग्रीन now we will test this network on a simulation window so i have open a simulation window now i will select simple pdu and suppose from vlan 1 i want to send this pdu from first pc to vlan 1's fifth pc okay across switches so just check icmp and arp is called so first of all arp broadcasting will be done to check the mac address of destination pc and then icmp will start pinging from pc number 1 to pc number 5 so let's forward these packets now just check how it travel it reach to switch 2 then it is getting forwarded to switch 3 and one packet is getting delivered to 192.168.1.3 pc under the switch 2 now as it was not meant for pc number 3 the packet was discarded now pc number 5 will receive that packet from third switch and it was for him so that pc will accept it and sends the mac address with arp unicast message so pc number 1 will receive it and now actual pinging will start which is unicast messaging and now just check the difference these packets are secretly sent from pc number 1 to pc number 5 under vlan 1 they are not getting broadcasted so that vlan 2 pcs will not receive them similarly we will check for vlan 2 communication so again select simple pdu suppose in now uh, from pc number 6 i want to send pdu or data to pc number 2 now just check again icmp and arp protocols are uh, revoked so arp broadcasting will be done to get the mac address of destination pc now just check from switch 2 packet travel towards switch 3 and one packet is getting delivered to pc number 4 as i was sending packet from pc number 6 to 2 so pc number 4 will be discarding it at as it was not for him from switch 1 pc number 2 will receive that packet and as it was from pc uh, for pc number 2 only it will reply back positively packet travels back and received by 6 pc now actual icmp will start which is unicast messaging from pc number 6 to pc number 2 and reply from pc number 2 to pc number 6 now just check at the bottom the communication is successful now here also you can observe we were sending packet from pc number 6 to pc number 2 which are of which are a member of same vlan that is vlan 2 that's why communication was successful now just test communication across vlans that is vlan 1 to vlan 2 or vlan 2 to vlan 1 now again select simple pdu suppose from pc number 3 i want to send packet to pc number 4 now just check capture and forward 
now switch number 2 will send broadcast message arp message to pc uh, switch number 1 and switch number 3 they will deliver that to only respective vlan 1 these packets will not be received by vlan 2 members okay so that's why the communication will get fail because these two are not the source and destinations are not part of same vlan so that's all for today's video hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel so as to get the further videos and their updates thank you for watching